NanoCAD Pro is excellent 2D drafting, but it's also proficient for 3D modeling. Most of the commands that you would be working with for 3D modeling are found on two tabs of the ribbon. 3D Tools has commands for creating 3D parts, and then a group of commands for editing them, commands for connecting them together with constraints, and then finally commands that take slices through them so you can see the inside of the 3 model. The other useful tab is called View, and that's for seeing different views of the 3D model. Two D drawings are simple because you're only looking down on them. We would call the top view, and you can see this by the UCS icon. The cross in the box indicates this is the origin, the zero zero point of the drawing. If you were to move the drawing away from the origin, the little cross disappears, indicating it's no longer at the origin. The UCS icon is not that useful in 2D drafting, but it's extremely important in 3D modeling. Let's see how the UCS icon helps us in 3D modeling. Right now we're looking down on top of a 3D model. You can see the UCS icon from before. If I switch to a 3D viewpoint, then the full UCS icon appears and you can see direction of Z, direction of Y, direction of X, and their related colors. This is useful because if I, for example, were to go underneath the model, then we can see where the Z is pointing upwards and it leads to less confusion. The thing that makes 3D modeling difficult is that you're dealing with six sides. Recall that a 2D drawing has just the one side, the top view. In 3D models we have the top view, the right view, the front view, the left view, the back view, and the bottom view. So there's six sides to every 3D model. When we look at the front, it's hard to see the back. So that's why NanoCAD makes it easy to switch views. When you come to this locator, you can quickly select standard views, such as this top northeast isometric view, meaning that you're looking at the drawing from the northeast and looking at the top of it. Here's the opposite, the bottom southwest view. Another aspect of confusion with 3D drawings is that you can see right through them. And so here with this house model, we have a mishmash of lines. Technically, each of those lines is the edges of a face that makes up 3D objects. Fortunately, NanoCAD makes it easy to switch to other viewing modes. So for example, right now, we are in 2D wireframe. If we go to hidden line mode, this means that NanoCAD hides all the lines that are behind the faces we are seeing right now. A bit prettier one is called Garage Shaded, and that one lets you see the house a little bit more realistic, even through the windows. Let's quickly change the viewpoint and admire the entire model. Sometimes you'll find one form of shading more convenient than others, and so it's good that NanoCAD makes it easy to switch between them. A surprising amount of drawing in 3D is actually done in 2D. And what I'm doing here is I'm drawing a 3D box so I can show you how 2D drawing works in 3D. So I've drawn the 3D box using the box command from the 3D tools tab. Let me put it in an isometric view so I can see the whole thing. Drawing on a 3D object is done with the dynamic UCS command. This is a UCS that applies to faces and the best way to understand is to see it. So I've got it turned on down here on the status bar, and then I'll start something like the circle command. And as I move the cursor over the different faces, notice that the UCS is reorienting itself to match the faces. So I'll click, draw the circle, repeat the command, draw another circle, repeat the command, and draw a third one. Now if you didn't have dynamic UCS in NanoCAD, then this would be extremely difficult to do. But NanoCAD makes it easy for you.